Hello everybody, welcome to my trivia channel here in Yorktown, Virginia. Can you cut your own hair? Yes, yes you can. In fact, I just did. Uh, in fact, my hair is still wet in the back there. From I just got out of the shower. But I thought about showing the video of cutting my own hair, but if you follow my trivia channel, it's a small operation, one man operation. And I was like, well, you got to have the handheld mirror in one hand and the scissors in the other, and then I have to have a third hand for the camera. And so maybe I'll do it another time or I'll talk my brother into filming it. But it can be done. I've done it for years. Um, you know, a lot of you are stuck home with this coronavirus situation. I've done it for years for a couple of reasons. First of all, I'm kind of cheap. <laughs> and I'm 57, I'm kind of cheap. And uh, uh, my dad, my late father, was Air Force father, was Scottish. And he, uh, he could pinch a nickel and make the buffalo burp, right? The old joke there. And so can I. Uh, what was that, Ernest Saves Christmas? Yeah, good movie. Google it, millennials. But uh, it was heartwarming. But anyway, uh, it can be done. It just takes a little practice. You won't be good at it at first. And obviously, you can see this isn't bad. I mean, it'll, it'll get you through for a, a few haircuts until you get back. And then two or three at the salon, and you'll be looking real good again. But this is my haircut. I'm not going to scare John Stamos. I mean, he's, he's going to keep the t title of world's coolest hair, but uh, this will get you done. And so what you need, you don't really need a lot of materials. You need a pair of scissors. You need one of those razors with the, the thing on the side, you know, either a Norelco or Remington, you know, just an electric razor. It's got that little thing you flip up on the side because you want to get the sides in the back of your, that thing in the back of your hair. Uh, you need two cotton balls. You need four paper towels. And you need the handheld mirror, okay? And that's the most dangerous thing, the handheld mirror. So I'll go, I'm going to save you a lot of trouble of errors and pitfalls I've made over the years doing this and show you how to do it. It's, it's not that hard. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to take two paper towels and put them in the bottom of your sink. Okay, make sure the sink is dry and then close that lever on your sink. So uh, the hair doesn't, you don't, the last thing you want is to clog up your kitchen sink these days and have to have a plumber come out. You've got enough stress in your life right now. So do that. You'll, you'll figure out later how cleanup will be a snap. So put the two paper towels down. The second thing you want to do is you want to put a cotton ball in each ear. In fact, I just take one big cotton ball, cut it, pull it in half. You don't want to poke yourself in the eardrum with those scissors. Now I'm deaf in my right ear. I've been that way since I was five years old. So you're probably not going to happen, but just better safe than sorry. Put the cotton balls in each ear. Now the third step is you want to make sure your scissors aren't too sharp. Okay, don't don't go with the real sharp type scissors that hairstylists use. First of all, I use a pair of Singer sewing scissors. They're dull on the top. Don't don't go with the sharp scissors, okay? You're because you're going to be doing a mirror and you're, you you need a mirror in your bathroom and then your sink and everything. And then to get the back you're going to use a mirror handheld. So don't go with sharp scissors at all, okay? Now the next thing you want to do is you want to visualize breaking this whole process up into six steps, okay? You want to do your top first, your side, your other side. I usually do the, first, the right first. I don't know why. Step four will be you do your back. Step five is the trickiest, and that will be to kind of blend it all. And then step six will be to shave that little hair in the back of your neck, the wolf. Not like the animal, but W-O-O-F, the wolf, or whatever you want to call it. But... You'll need to do that. Now these tricks will work for women and for men. Everybody's hair is completely different. Um, so you just kind of have to have a little bit of trial and error. There's no real rules on it as far as is one way or another. Also, a uh, thing I forgot to mention. Want to look right away where your part is. Mine is down my over my left eye. Some of you may be toward the middle. Some of you towards your right eye. But for most of you, you'll probably be on the side, one side or the other. But... Keep that in mind when you're cutting. There's no hard and fast rule again, but knowing where it is kind of help you blend around that. So, so I part mine on the left side with that being on the back too. So it seems to help prevent you getting too much of you know the cowlick like you remember alfalfa and Google and millennials alfalfa. Okay. So the first thing you want to remember when you start cutting is don't don't just pull your hair down and then cut right across the front. <laughs> okay, You can do that. 
if you want bangs, most people don't wear bangs anymore. Some women look cute with it. Guys, you'll see it occasionally, but for the most part, you don't want to do that. You you might end up looking like Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> it's you, you probably want to avoid that. So what you want to do is you want to take your fingers with your left hand. Now I'm right-handed. Put your scissors in your right hand. Take your fingers with the left hand, and just gather some, gather a clump of hair, not too much, and then leave about an inch, no more than an inch off the end, and then just trim it. Go, okay. Now, don't do more than an inch for right now. Preferably about a half inch or even a quarter inch. The less, the better. Now, should you cut dry, wet, or somewhere in between? I go dry when I cut it. Okay. Um, you can go wet, but if it go really wet, the problem with wet hair is it clumps. And you don't want clumps because if you cut off a big clump, you're talking a month, maybe two or three for that to grow back in. So I say don't go wet. If you want to just spritz it or wet it down a little in between, that's what a lot of professional stylists do. Go ahead and do that. But just a little damp is my, at, at most. But I say start dry. Now, do that a few times on the top. Maybe not that many, eight times maybe each time just to shape it. Now go to the side. Do the same thing. It's a little tricky. You've got to reach over here. Just grab a, grab a bit between a couple of fingers. Now do the third side. Okay, now you got that done. And you'll be surprised how much hair you've got already. And you're like, hey, this is working pretty good. Now comes the tricky part. You want to do the, the back. And with the back, you got to put the handheld mirror in one hand. And you turn around so you're looking in the mirror, into the mirror, right? So, so you look forever, right? You can... Okay, but anyway, that's 57-year-old humor. But you, when you do that, warning, warning, warning. Be careful not to drop that mirror, okay? And if you switch hands, set the mirror down first. Don't try to switch hands with that mirror and your scissors. Don't, just don't do it because you can drop that mirror and you're going to have a big mess. So the mirrors are real worried. Make sure that mirror stays on the edge of the, away from the edge of the counter too because you can knock it, especially that handle, because you can knock it over accidentally. You don't want that to happen. So be real careful. Keep the mirror back, back as far as you can. So, but when you cut with the back, you're just going to have to kind of go there. And I'm not going to show you the back of my hair because i got a little bit of a bald spot. I'm, a, I'm not going to go there. But So just, just go nice and careful. Make sure you can see that hair. You, you don't want to cut against the skin of your neck there. So just snip and then do that about eight more times. Okay? And that's about it. It's not, it doesn't take as many cuts as you think. Now... You're on to the fifth part, which is the blending. And this is tricky. Just kind of, what you want to do is just kind of look around. First of all, take a break. Relax. Don't get worked up about this. Don't lose your cool. Everybody's stressed. You don't need any stress. In fact, block an hour of time for this. Not, not even counting your shower time because you're going to want to shower after this. Okay, you're not going to have that hair cutter to just go whisk, whisk, whisk and the thing on your shoulders. And So you're going to be a mess. So you want to want, <laughs> you're going to want to take a shower afterwards. So... Just block off an hour of time plus your shower. Don't rush. But the blending part, you'll want to look it over, and you're going to you're going to have to want to blend between your top section and the side, your top and the other side, your back and the front, and the two sides. So there's going to be several blended sections. And what you want to do is you just you'll eyeball it and just look, and wherever any part doesn't look good, just do a little trim, real 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 light. Always air on the. It's like pruning one of your crepe myrtles out in your yard. Air on the side of caution because if you prune off that whole branch, it's gone for years, right? So just just blend it nice and slow. Take your time, and it'll start to take shape. And then the last thing you want to do, step six, is you want to take that razor, clip that thing side on, turn it on. Once again, watch out if you got the cord not to knock your your mirror off the counter. And then you go ch -ch -ch, shave that the back of your neck, okay? And you'll get pretty good at that pretty quick. I've I've done that for many years. Every Friday. I'm a pretty hairy guy, so I have to, you know, my hair grows really quickly, so I have to do that. But that's it. That's really it. Six steps. Now, clean up. Um, see, I'm still feeling hair in my nose, <laughs> right around my nose. And that's the other thing. You'll, you'll, kind of, you'll kind of feel like a little itchy for a while on that. But um, uh, clean up. 
with the sink, your hair, you should have most of it right in that on those paper towels. Just take it, ball it up, boom, throw it in the garbage. Now you're still going to have some hair left over in the sink. You got two paper towels left. Take one of your paper towels and wet it. Leave the other one dry. And then use the dry one first, and go ch -ch -ch, and gather up all the hair on your counter in your sink or the ball. It'll be pretty easy. Throw that second ball away. Now you're just going to have a little bit of hair left. Take your damp paper towel. Get the last little bits from the sink and the counter. Boom. Throw that one away and you're done. I mean, it's pretty easy. Don't forget your cotton balls. Take them out of your ears. Throw them away. And then take your shower right away. Now, when you take your shower, you're going to want to rinse your ears because you're going to have hair in your ears. Trust me on this. So turn your ear. Turn this way. Rinse your ears for about 10 seconds. The other ear. It feels really good, by the way. You might want to do it longer than 10 seconds. And then turn around with your back to the nozzle and get the hair off the back of your neck, the nape of your neck, the back of your neck, because you're going to, that's, that'll itch in your shoulders, because you're going to have hair there and everywhere, and just, you know, get all that too. And then when you get out of the shower, make sure, last thing, don't forget to put your mirror away and your scissors away so your pets or your kids don't get to it, okay? M make sure, because they will if you don't. So before you even leave the shower, just so you don't forget, do that right away. Get out of the shower before you go get dressed. Put the mirror and the scissors away. And that's it. You're done. It's, it's not that hard. You're done. Um, like I said, I, now I can do it now in under, under 30 minutes, 20, 25 minutes now, but block off that hour for the first time. You'll get better at it. You probably won't want to do this long term, but um, you could start doing little trims. There's a guy on YouTube, several guys, but one guy, he's really good at just doing little trims and to save money in between haircuts. I can't remember his name, but he's really good. And uh, his, you know, he, you know, he's younger. He, he's, a, he's a millennial. He's in his 20s. He looks like a million bucks, but, you know. But just to get you through your, to your, because we don't know this. If you ask me, this whole coronavirus thing is going on all the way to election time because there's a lot of bickering going on and there's politics at play. And so I don't think this is going away till election time. So that's November 3rd. So, you know, we got to deal with this, you know. They're talking about people wearing masks for 18 months. Please tell me that's not true. But, um, but anyway, that's it. And uh, good luck. If you have any questions, I'll do answer. I'll do answer them down below. And we'll see you for the uh, next trivia video. Trivia video. Goodbye.